Sometimes you just want make smash and thing go boom. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome back to another bundled banter. Today, we've got yet another fanatical bundle. This is the fanatical sanctuary bundle, and my my, does it have some quality picks in it. So I won't delay any longer, let's look at these games post haste. First off, we've got Blood Fresh Supply, then Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic, Warhammer 40k Sanctus Reach, The Walking Dead Michonne, The Walking Dead 400 Days, The Walking Dead Season 2. Wow, that's a lot of Walking Dead. <laughs> Redeemer Enhanced Edition, This War of Mine Final Cut, and This War of Mine Stories Season Pass. Overall, this is an extremely strong bundle. I wouldn't be surprised if it sells out at some point. I think it'll be very hard to pick uh, a top contender out of these games, because I'm kind of into every last one of them, so let's break them down individually. Blood, Fresh Supply. Are you into retro FPS shooters? Well, this is kind of like Duke Nukem from an alternate universe that finds boastful protagonists distasteful. You play as Caleb, a high-ranking member of a cult that is then betrayed by the god Chernabog. You rise from your grave and set out for revenge through 42 levels of mayhem. Environments are super interactive, and the weapon selection is totally primo. No dinky starter pistol here. You get a flare gun that stays useful for the entire game. The controls do feel a bit floaty, but the game itself is an absolutely fantastic FPS experience. Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic. I'm pretty shocked how well this title holds up 20 years later. Simulator games just seem to have this sort of magic about them. Anyways. Roller Coaster Tycoon smashes together all the Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 content into the Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 version of the game. If you enjoy simulators or even just creating wild coasters like Mr. Bones Wild Ride, this title's totally a shoe in The graphics are only slightly dated, and there are also not really any resolution options, which is strange, but the game scales up enough and there are hotkeys to adjust the UI. The only other complaint I could really dig up was regarding the $20 price tag, which of course is not an issue at all if you're picking up this bundle. Warhammer 40k Sanctus Reach. Turn-based strategy RPG? <laughs> you know I'm gonna recommend it. Warhammer 40k always does great things, and Sanctus Reach is no exception. She ain't the prettiest girl at the dance, but she'll take good care of ya. That is to say, it's not very flashy, but Warhammer's always been extremely fun and functional. Both of the playable races feel and play exceptionally different, the main problem with turn-based Warhammer games is that the gameplay does drag just a bit. You'll get a lot more skirmish combat than storyline, but that's not an issue for me personally, because I came to play. The Walking Dead Michonne. Michonne has always been an absolute badass, and one of the immediate fan favorites of the Walking Dead series, likely because of her amazing katana skills and an interesting marriage of vulnerability and not give a fuckery. This game is a standalone title unlike the other Walking Dead games present in this bundle, and in my opinion that fact doesn't really do it any favors. You'll be in and out in four hours, and probably won't bother with replaying the story because while Michonne is a deep and interesting character, everyone else featured in this tale really isn't. It's still a fun ride considering the price is less than a dollar to ride, so I can't be upset that it's in this bundle. The Walking Dead 400 Days this is a bit of DLC content, but this key actually includes the base game, if you didn't have it already, which I think is really a nice touch. The main story of Season 1 is obviously the big attraction here, but the 400 Days episodes are bite-sized, and some of them really do pack in some raw emotion. While it doesn't add anything to the main story, it definitely doesn't hurt anything either, and the characters do feel more well-crafted than in the Michonne story, and at a much, much shorter length. Very impressive. And of course, The Walking Dead Season 1 is a major draw. If you haven't played it already, it is definitely some of Telltale's best work. R.I.P. Telltale. The Walking Dead Season 2! While the choices don't feel like they matter as much in the second season, I was certainly glad to continue the tale. The Walking Dead is always an emotional roller coaster of a series, but that feeling has never struck home as hard as when you are placed in the driver's seat. Split-second decisions that only change the story slightly still manage to feel like they are some of the most difficult calls ever. The art style, the sound work, 
the writing, the voice acting, there's really nothing that wasn't done right in this series. Granted, the choices could have changed the story up a bit more, but it serves well enough. This is like an interactive graphic novel, not really a choose-your-own-adventure. Redeemer Enhanced Edition. A gory top-down beat-em-up? Uh, yeah. Considering that it was Hotline Miami that spurred me to start creating YouTube content, you better believe that this is right down my alley. It has a much darker vibe, but I suppose that's about par for the course in a gory beat-em-up, Hotline Miami being the exception. It's definitely fairly easy and slightly mindless, but that's not really uncommon when it comes to beat-em-ups. I wouldn't be mad at someone for calling this game generic or repetitive, but I would make the counterpoint that sometimes you don't want a deep story or complicated mechanics or controls. Sometimes you just want Make Smash and Thing Go Boom. Redeemer manages to redeem itself in that regard. This war of mine. Wow. This game is an original concept with a striking art style, and it's had my attention ever since it came out way back in 2014. I actually wanted to play it on the channel back then, but simply couldn't afford it. And now I think the window is kind of past, but... Let me know if you'd like to see it anyways. Getting back on topic. In this game, you're just another civilian in the midst of war. Your only goal is to try and keep yourself and your family alive. The story's dark and uncomfortable, much like the art style. It's a sad and distressing game, which forces you to make difficult choices, but unlike the Walking Dead games, these decisions can have far-reaching consequences. You can attempt to be a beacon of hope and risk being taken advantage of, or you can be a brutal opportunist that might end up getting bit in the ass when all is said and done. This is a game that makes you think and philosophize, and of course, it is just as brutal and difficult as war itself. This War of Mine Stories Season Pass. The story Season Pass includes three additional storylines to explore in the universe of this War of Mine. Some of them hit home, while others are somewhat disappointing. The first one to be released was A Father's Promise. This episode ended up feeling in pack, but that was kind of undercut by its linear nature. The next story, called The Last Broadcast, made some very significant improvements. I'd actually argue that this is the best out of the three. You play as a radio operator and discover just how much of a price you'd pay to spread the truth about the war. Fading Embers kind of ended up going back to the linear roots similar to Father's Promise, which was not appreciated by most gamers. You have restrictions placed on your character that don't really make any sense, and even with those restrictions, the story still is a bit of a meandering mess. It's interesting to compare the three stories based on the gameplay loop alone, but if you only have time to play one of them, then make sure it is the last broadcast. So what do I think of the bundle itself? I think uh, you should have bought it already. <laughs> as soon as I told you what games were in it, you should be like, Oh God, that's amazing! Because for five bucks, it really and truly is, especially if you're missing games like The Walking Dead or w This War of Mine. Redeemer and Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic are the only titles in this bundle that I could conceivably call meh, but even those hold some appeal for me. As far as a ranking of which games are the favorites, I would have to say this War of Mine tops the list overall, followed by The Walking Dead 400 Days, then The Walking Dead Season 2. Next I'd throw in Blood Fresh Supply and Warhammer 40k. Bringing up the bottom of the list, I think this War of Mine Stories, Walking Dead Michonne, uh, Redeemer, and then Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic, but even those ones that are at the bottom of the list still beat the crap out of a lot of other bundles that I've talked about, so take that with a grain of salt. If you still aren't convinced, I can only point out the fact that Blood is... the historic low for Blood is the same price as this entire bundle, so even if you're just picking it up for that, you get all this other stuff thrown in for free, maybe you can give it away to your friends or something like that. Finally, I should point out Something that I don't know if people will agree with me with, but it kind of does grind my gears, and that is the theme of the bundle. Calling it the Sanctuary Bundle, that's all well and good, but saying, hey, you need this because you're in quarantine, it, it kind of puts a bad taste in my mouth. Fanatical, I know you better than that. But really, I think I'm just nitpicking there. I've called out a whole bunch of companies on my Twitter that did it a whole lot less tactfully than Fanatical did. But anyways, friends, I guess that about wraps it for the Fanatical Sanctuary Bundle. This has been another bundle banter. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I hope that you will like, comment, and or subscribe. Check out the links in the description 
to Twitter, Patreon. Big shout out to Nico the Legend for supporting us on Patreon currently. We've also got a link to Discord where there is a giveaway going on for Black the Fall. The next game that will be given away, that will probably start sometime next week, would be this War of Mine. So if you're missing this War of Mine, I hope that you'll stop on by for a chance to win it. With all that said, I hope you have a great day. Keep yourself safe out there, and I shall see you in the next one. Thank you, as always, for listening, and until the next time, friends, bye-bye.